Alright, hey everybody. Say hey, Nation Mogi here. I'm here with another installment for the Google AdSense course. Um, for this one, it's actually going to be about how you can promote in your Facebook groups. Now, a lot of us, we are on Facebook more than anything. Instagram is great as well, but because of the way Instagram is set up, you can't really make any posts directly to Instagram. So it actually has to be from Instagram um, to anything else, which is, it could actually be another. Um, now there's another course that I might put up to put together because I do use Instagram as far as that goes, um, as and also when I make my videos, especially when I even use the IGTV, those videos go straight to my fan page. Uh, same thing with my post. If I make a post on there, it'll go straight to my fan page. So everything is pretty much connected. Um, so we're not talking about that today. We're talking about Facebook. So if you're gonna be on Facebook, especially if you're watching this video or getting this link through Facebook, um, this will definitely come in handy for you. Now. The site that I'm actually gonna get you guys to check out is called Pilot Poster. And I've actually made some videos about it before, so you can check my channel out for them, or you can search them on my on my actual um, blog with the Haitian mobile. So you what you want to do is go to pilotposter.com and I'll also leave the link at the bottom so that you guys can check that out. And for the record, if you're gonna make any type of video like the way the way that I do and you have um, links and stuff that you are that you are bringing people to. Make sure that you create a, a bitly for them, it's only because that's going to help you to keep up with those those clicks. Because a lot of times you might make a video or make any type of content, and if you just give them the organic link, you won't know exactly unless they make a purchase. But you won't know exactly that they actually clicked on it. So this way, even if they don't make a purchase, you know that it's been getting clicked, it's been actually getting views. So that way, it'll give you an idea of of your method. If it's working or not, you know what I mean. Because otherwise, if you if you notice that you're not getting any clicks on it, then you know it's not working. So then you know you need to do something else to change that. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and sign in. I can remember. I'll, 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 I'll. Let's see if this works. If not, I'm mean, gonna ones. All right, it worked. So um, I'm probably not gonna go through and show you exactly how to set that up set this up but I've been promoting posts already today so I don't want to do anything that's going to be too fast especially to get me blocked so instead what I will do is give you an overview of how to use this now um, like I said, I'm going to link the other probably need to link the other video as well but you can also just you can really just search it and it'll be it'll show up um, all you got to do is type in pilot poster on my my blog search box and it'll show up for you. Uh, for this one, as you can see, I'm already set up. Everything's already pretty much set up. My my Facebook app is already linked and everything. Um, all I want to do is actually select a um, select a post that I want to create and and promote pretty much. So as you can see, I have over 1,100 groups in here, and this is all of them right there, right here. And usually, what you want to do, of course, is be there in um, your work from home groups, your make money online groups, your online job groups, stay at home groups, or on work from home opportunity groups, those types of things MLM, affiliate, internet marketing, those types of groups. And when it comes to promoting any kind of business as far as those related to that and working online, because as you guys know, with the times being changed, that you can definitely make money by working online, and all you gotta do is be consistent. It's just like working a regular job. If you don't do it eight out eight hours a day, and even and even now you don't have to work it that often. But if you don't work it every day and treat it like a full time job, then you're not gonna see any success. But this way, you won't be capped because at, with nine to fives, you'd be capped at a certain amount of money that you make. And over time, as you do internet marketing or any type of marketing online and get paid for it. You'll be able to learn different ways to make you more profitable, and also your hour, your wage per hour will actually move up, and you don't have to worry about making a promotion or anything like that because you basically give it to yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and because I'm not gonna go through and set this whole thing up with you guys, um, but I do want you guys to check. Then we'll go through and actually show you the settings portion. So we'll start with the general settings, just so you guys get an idea. So make sure you set up your account with this. Okay, go to your general settings. So I want 25 per page, which actually you saw was more than that, but that's okay. And then you also want to go to um, your publish settings. Okay, and I want to show only the, the 
open groups. As you know, the closed groups, they will not allow uh, a pilot, a uh, auto poster to post in their groups for you. You also want to make sure that the unique post, I mean, and that's what's going to add an actual unique. Is it, it, sometimes it, it could throw people off because the numbers that they include or numbers and letters they include at the bottom is just like it's just random. But it helps because they won't be caught or considered spam for that matter. So it's up to you if you want to include it. Um, I usually do just because of that. Um, and I haven't had any issues. I actually haven't had any issues in a while. Um, and that's because I changed from using the other auto post to using this one. So with this one, you can also get a unique link. So if you include your link up here, you can also set it up to where the link is different or it actually is different with the unique ID. So that way you don't have to worry about that being spammed as well. Um, post interval I got it at 90, 900 seconds. I usually like to keep this. <clears throat> I might have to change it again later when I get to the post, but I usually like to keep this as the highest one. And then of course save changes. Now if you are using the Facebook app, if which you should be, you want to make sure that you keep it at Facebook for Android. If you haven't selected it right selected it yet, then you're gonna go down here and well this is gonna be my Facebook accounts. These are all my accounts, so I've got to make sure J. Davis is connected, and I haven't been on that in a while, so I'll do that in a little bit. Um, let me see. So as long as that, so say for example, you created your account, and you um, have some new groups that's added on, which I need to go ahead and possibly do that. So you would click here, come up here, and click update. You can edit, of course, the account, but I'll click update. I can get a general idea of what it is. Okay, so now if this happens, this is a great, great example to show you guys this. So if this happens, go ahead and put your information in. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, let me create one. Do put your, your information in as far as your email or username and your password. Click generate token. And this is what's going to actually update your pass your uh, your groups. You come here, you you click all of this. Control C, paste it here, and then you click update Facebook account. You can also do the file. Okay. I think I did change it though. Yeah, I think I did change it. What the hell? Anyway, in case this doesn't do it, I don't want you guys to sit and wait for me to figure this out. <laughs> so I'm going to have to make sure I get my password situated. Anyway, if and just in case that doesn't happen, you can actually uh, you actually use this method right here. And right click. I'm gonna do this with your don't model. And open that up. All right, here we go. So now, what you want to do? What did it say? It said, go ahead and save it. Right? Save the HTML page. So then you come up here, right click, save as. Go to we usually put this in the uh, desktop so I can delete it later. Save. Make sure you do it as a as a web page. Um just that I can give you one page. Can you come up here? And also has this to save as a as a HTML so it'll be the groups um dot HTML. 
So let's see. Where did I put it? Did I pass it? I think I passed it. Where did I put it? Okay, hold on. Let me do this again because in the file itself, it's right here. But. Let's try something else. <clears throat> Delete right quick, yeah, because I want to see something. Okay. So it's come up here, save as HTML web page HTML only. Okay. That's what it was. Alright, let's start. Because it's going to give you this whole file with all, with all the files in it. So it's like all the images, the coding, all that stuff. So I don't really need all of that. So we come up here. Now we can choose a file. How do I keep losing this? Let me make sure first of all, I'm going to search this. Right here, here we go. Jeez! Alright. Then you upload the HTML file. And it's going to it should repopulate your whole page. Okay. It says it's been updated. Okay, that's that. Now they go to Facebook Apps. Cool. So now, if you if this is your first time using this, or if you have any issues with this, and if and these aren't selected, or maybe this might be selected, I don't know. But if you have any issues, go ahead and deactivate it, and then activate it again. You gotta do the same thing with your password in. Make sure your social user is in there. I don't know what I was about to say social. You don't need to do that. But make sure your username is in there as well. And keep in mind, you can actually connect more than one account, as you can see. So. Um, then once you authenticate it, it should look like this, and maybe it's not, and they're going to expire. And then that's pretty much it. And then you go back to your home. And of course you can use, read the little things that they have. They have Instagram tools up here as well. And they have the FAQs. Even prices for whatever, if you want extra stuff to go along with it. Um, you can save your post. So, like, you can create a po post here and a message. You can use the link by clicking the link. It'll actually populate in here in this little section to show you what it looks like. Um, what else? Of course, here's all the groups. Which mine didn't really update. I mean, it is still the same. So, I guess I didn't need to do that. But it's okay. So of course you can do all this, you can change your, your background images, you can add a product, you can actually add an image, um, here's a link, it'll actually show up in the thing, you can even do the video. So what I'm actually going to do is go click here for the post, go to save the post, and I'm going to show you exactly how to promote it. Now with this one, let me see, because I've been doing the MSJ Inc. one, I want to promote the AdSense course. Because I've been promoting already all day, I don't really want to do too much. So instead, I will I will do the AdSense. See how that looks. But I think what I might do is to save me the issues of, of trying to send messages back to back, back to back, I will change this. So let me go ahead and go to a fan page right quick. I'm going to post this 419 as an hour ago. 